guys, how you doing? I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV and since my Hantech 2D10 review video, I've been asked several times to do a video on how to upgrade the firmware of the oscilloscope. So guess what? That's what I'm going to do today. This will be a noobs tutorial and I will help you in every step of the way. At this moment, I do believe that you know what the firmware is, but just in case if there is somewhere out there someone that doesn't, let me put this in simple terms. Uh, consider the firmware as the operating system of the oscilloscope. Like you have Windows or Mac OS or Linux in your PC, the oscilloscope has the firmware that is the piece of software responsible for all oscilloscope operations. Uh, so the upgrade allows you to correct bugs or add new functions to the oscilloscope. Uh, so if possible, you should always use it uh, in the last version of the firmware. The procedure is quite simple, but there are a few important things that you have to know in order to proceed smoothly with the upgrade. So stay tuned and I will show you everything in detail as usual. So things to be careful when updating. First things first, since this is a process that can, can't be interrupted, if you have the chance, you should do this process with the oscilloscope always connected to a UPS to prevent damage if a power outage happens. Don't forget that when you neglect, the Murphy Law gives you instant karma. Second, make sure you are not using the back USB ports uh, since if you are, the front port will be disabled and your USB pen will not work. Third, the pen has to be formatted with FAT32, not XFAT or NTFS. Since you must use FAT32, you can only use a pen up to 4 GB or you can also use a bigger pen, but you have to partition it to use only 4 GB, so you can so you can be able to format it with the FAT32 system. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, the first thing to do obviously is go to handtech.com and download the new firmware. For that you go to the downloads menu and in the search bar you just insert DSO 2000 and choose here the latest firmware box. Okay. DSO 2000 search. So you have here uh, the latest, latest firmware. Let's do the downloads. Okay. And okay, it's downloaded. After this, just go to the folder where you downloaded the, the firmware and using 7-zip or WinRAR or any other utility, you just extract the files inside. It will create a new folder where you have this UPK file that should be copied to, to your USB pen. For those of you that uh, like to go the extra mile and see how everything works, uh, I have a, a goodie for you in the end of the video, so stay tuned and check it out. You can also download the user manual uh, on the website, uh, I suggest that you do it. And if you come here to the index, you can see that on the utility section, utility system, on page 49, we have here the update firmware procedure. Uh, it, it lacks a lot of information here, but what they say it will take, it's about five minutes to update. Mm. As promised, uh, I have here a goodie for those that like to go the extra mile. I found out this uh, Google Drive that has all the firmwares uh, released and also here a USB fix and stuff like that. It's maintained by David Alpha. 
I don't know who it is, but it's a, a nice job. And you have also in this folder the decrypted versions of the firmware. So you can, for example, analyze what's going on and, well, hack it and, and stuff like that. It's just a, a curiosity. If you are into it, you have here the, the Google Drive with all the stuff. I will leave in the comments area the link for this uh, Google Drive. Let's start by powering up the oscilloscope. Not that we already saved on the USB pen the firmware. Just need to come here and wait for starts. Go to utility, press utility and system info. My version is the 2021-04-16. Uh, so what we will do now is take this out of the screen. I have here a 16 gigabytes USB pen. This is partitioned only uh, with four gigabytes, so I can use it in here. Yes, it's in here. It's detected. Nice. So we go to utility, update, and update firmware. We have in here the file that we just copied to the USB pen. Let's move the cursor uh, with, the, with the knob. You can move the cursor, just position it over the, the desired file and press the knob. Okay, we, you have here press F3 to update or press F5 to cancel. Let's do start update. And this process will take uh, about uh, five minutes. So I don't know, it's what is on the manual on page 49. So let's fast forward this until the end. Okay, the update it, it's done. Right now, we just need to power the oscilloscope off, take the pen out, and let's power it on again. Uh, just wait a moment to see if the update was correctly done. Uh, in, in, yeah, just updating. Okay, let's go to utility. Utility, yeah, system info. And right now, the version that we have here, it's the 2022-01-18. Uh, yeah, it's correctly updated uh, to the latest version, that uh, latest firmware that I had um, at the time of this recording. So it was a success. As you can see, it's pretty easy. I hope that uh, you do it too, and it will be all right. So. If you in any way found this video useful, don't forget, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified whenever I post a new video. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.